Your wallpaper might not be as cool as mine, but let's, let's admit it. Basic wallpapers that don't animate are pretty boring. So I'm gonna show you how to get an animated wallpaper for free. And no, I will not be talking about the inevitable wallpaper engine piracy. I will be talking about an alternative. So start off, go on the first link in the description and you will see this page, Lively Wallpaper. Click on that big fat download button and you can either get it from Microsoft or you can do the installer. And if you are confused on which one you should download, you can click on this and read it. But uh, basically the easiest way to figure it out is just press the installer. That's how most applications are. And just wait for it to download. And once it downloads, all you need to do is just click on it to start the installer. Now, once the installer pops up, you have a couple options. You can install it for yourself only, or you can install it for all users. Um, if you have, you know, a computer that your mom uses, I would just click install for me only, just so she doesn't get a little too scared and confused on what's going on. Also, I opened up two because I'm a boomer. Okay, continuing on, press next on the installer, and you want to accept the agreement. You can read this if you want. Uh, I totally read it. N yeah. So, once again, uh, just uh, keep in mind that this takes 412 megabytes of free disk space, which is quite a bit. So if you have a really crappy uh, SSD or hard drive with no more space, maybe avoid this one. And once it's almost done installing, you might need to go to your taskbar and just press on the little shield thing and press yes on the user account control. And once you do that, it should finalize the installation and press the finish button. Now, it should automatically launch the new Lively Wallpaper thing. You might have to click on it, and it might take a little bit. Mine's obviously being extremely slow, but apparently, once it is finally set up, there are almost no significant kind of uh, computer trade-off in terms of power. There's a word for it, but I can't remember it. Press the Next button. So once you press Next, you'll see that it says Start with Windows. This basically means do you want this dynamic wallpaper to start when you start up Windows, you know, it, it, you just press next. Now you have user interface, you have normal, light, and headless. For low-end systems, select light mode. I just read that, but it's, it's, that's what he said. So if you got a Pentium i3 something, you got a bad computer, go on light. You got a normal gamer rig, go on normal. Press next. And once it's done, you won't be able to do anything until you follow these steps. So all you need to do is go to the bottom right, Open up the little window thing, right click on the lively wallpaper thing, and press the open button. And there you go. Now you have wallpapers that are dynamic. So you could start off by doing Fluids V2, maybe get a semi uh, really good feeling in your loins because, oh my gosh, fluid mechanics. But you might not like any of these, you know, like rain. I mean, gosh, I'm just about to cry already. But yeah, you can pick whatever you want, but most of you probably won't like the standard stuff that's already here. So what you need to do is actually download a wallpaper. And how do you do that? Well, you go to the second link in the description. I'm just on fire today. And you will see this website. Now, I'm going to little scan through and figure... Oh, I love Godzilla. Okay, zo moving on. Uh, I decided I'm going to pick this wallpaper. And not specifically because I saw it on Reddit a while ago. All you need to do is... Go down to the bottom left and you see live wallpaper for desktop. Boom, click that download button. So once your wallpaper thing downloads, all you need to do is just open up your downloads folder and just drag it into the thing and it will start to turn it into a live wallpaper. Now you can change the title, you can add a description, an author, a website, and you can create a preview, which is this stuff here, and you could export it if you want, but just press okay and it's going to kind of render it out and do computer stuff, you know, load it. And once it's done, it will apply it. And now look, that's a pretty cool background. I mean, it's definitely a lot. Like if I had icons on here, it'd be a little confused, but that's basically wallpaper engine right then and there. Mind you, with wallpaper engine, you do have, you know, the Steam community page where you can literally just look at tons and tons and tons of themes. But this one allows you to use like mp4s or anything so you could add literally anything there are a couple more things i would look at just before closing off and that's first off you can actually add a url you can have a video 
as your wallpaper. So I'm going to pick my favorite video. And it's going to process. And while it's processing, I'm just going to go over to a couple of settings to look at. So settings. Oh, never mind. Look at that. We get to watch my favorite video. Wait, is this one of my old cringy videos? Yes, it is, sister. You can watch YouTube on your wallpaper thing, and it will also play the music. Wow, I had no idea what I was doing. Now, if you're a dual monitor type person, you might have noticed that on your other monitor, nothing happened. And that's because you have to go to the top right, click on the bad boy control panel, and you will see that you have a digit on the top left of each of your monitors. All you need to do is that if you want to duplicate them, press the duplicate button, and you will see that, oh, nothing's happened. Oh, there we go. Now it's duplicating both live wallpapers on both of my screens. What you could also do is do span across screens, which will put the animation in the center because my screen's to the right of me, or you could have it on the selective screen only. So that basically means that you could have, you know, two different wallpapers going on at the same time if you wanted to. But you could do whatever you want. That's all up to you. And now, a couple more things to look at. First off, there's a help section, which uh, basically just guides you to their GitHub, which is a very good place to get help from because I personally have no idea how they made this, so it's going to be hard for me to help you out. Moreover, there's the settings menu, which I would look at the performance tab if you have a slow computer and just start to change all these settings to be more and more paused. And, of course, I always forget to do this, but I will show you how to uninstall Lively Wallpaper. All you need to do is type in Add or Remove Programs, then search up Lively Wallpaper, click on it, click on Install, click on Install, press OK, press Yes, and press Yes again, and press OK. And there you go. You're back to your normal wallpaper. And that's how you uninstall it. It's a very easy application, and it's, it's awesome. Anywho, have a great day at school tomorrow, sweetheart. I love you. Mwah.